worry about letting this sleeping dog lie. It's getting him to wake up that's the problem. Come on, Teddy. Time to get up. Come on. And even if you get him up, you can't take Teddy the lazy bulldog anywhere. Because he'll fall asleep everywhere. What are you doing, Teddy? Pretty much anywhere Teddy feels like laying his head, Teddy will sleep. He's like a first child to Scott and Wesley Polin. But Teddy the Bulldog never quite got over the napping stage. Come on. Teddy, come on. When everyone else is ready to start the day, he's all for spending the day in bed. It can be very difficult for Teddy to get up in the morning. Teddy doesn't really respond to his name. Teddy doesn't respond to turning the lights on. My initial reaction to Teddy not getting out of bed, I thought it was cute and funny. But then when we have to be somewhere at a certain time, Teddy is definitely not a morning person. <laughs> wanna go to work? Do you wanna go to work? takes Teddy to work with him every day, and he likes to get there on time. Come on, come on. But every morning is a war with sleeping bulldog beauty in the house. Oh yeah, oh, 99. <laughs> All right. After I am successful at getting Teddy out of bed, sometimes Teddy will make it to the stairs. I'll come downstairs hoping that Teddy's right behind me just to turn around to find that he took one step and is sleeping on the top step. Most mornings, nothing budges Teddy when he's determined to get his precious Z's. Doesn't matter what's happening inside or outside the window. He ain't moving. <laughs> After trying everything but a stick of dynamite to get Teddy's bulldog rear end out of bed, Scott finally figured out a way to get him up and out. So I said, hmm, I got an idea. I had my wife going upstairs, and I had the camera on him the whole time. She rang the doorbell. He pops up. He's like, I gotta get downstairs, I gotta get downstairs. Oh, he jumped. The doorbell. A solution so simple and elegant that the Polans figured they finally had Teddy's tardiness licked for good. Teddy responds to the doorbell because he really thinks someone's gonna be on the other side. Teddy will go crazy if you're new. Once he knows you, he could care less about you. Oh, it's just the cleaning. He shows up for Wesley, who's helped trick him into coming downstairs. Teddy looks at us like, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Guess you're up now. But it turns out they have a dog who's every bit as smart as he is lazy. The doorbell trick didn't work probably after about the 10th time. Teddy figured it out pretty quickly. We sometimes would pretend that we were talking to neighbors. No, Teddy's inside. You want Teddy to come out? He'd be like, oh, someone outside? Maybe I'll go check it out. But then after a while, all this stuff, it just didn't work anymore, because he caught on. Come on. I gotta work. Plan B for getting Teddy downstairs, out the door, and off to work with Scott? Carry him. Let's go. All 70 pounds. He's like a, a big bowling ball. Or to put it more precisely, carrying Teddy downstairs is like carrying five 16-pound bowling balls. Uh, that's a good boy. Look at him! It's not that Teddy doesn't want to go to work with Scott. There's nothing at the office he loves more than snuggling up against a comfy filing cabinet. About lunchtime or so, he, he'll wake up and he'll stand at my door and stare at me which means I gotta go outside and do, do some business. And when they get home again, good luck getting Teddy out of the car. My experience with dogs and cars is the fact that when you put a dog in a car and you get to your destination, you open that door, that dog wants to go and jump out. Teddy's laying on his mat, man. 
give me five more minutes. I have to lift him up so he's standing up, and then I grab him, and I just gently ease him to the ground. He's a big boy. Oh, he's such a nice boy. Teddy does have his energetic moments. Often with a toy in his mouth stolen from Little Page Poland. Or with whatever you were planning to wear today. And then the minute we get up to try to grab it, he runs away from us. So then it becomes a game where we are chasing Teddy around the house. But his ability to fall asleep anywhere, in any position, may be unrivaled in the dog world. a cherished member of the family but when it comes to sleeping on the job or on anything for that matter Teddy the lazy bulldog might be our baddest of the week if only in his dreams mm -hmm.